and this is why we're really here, about getting Ellie De La Cruz to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, though. AJ hates can, this. I know. He, I, he can't I know stand he hates this. this. I know he hates this. Can, can you explain why you think oh. Ellie should be here, and then we'll allow AJ to uh, kick it back? I'll be happy to explain. <laughs> I know he's played only 30 games, and to a guy like AJ, actually all you guys, Major League veterans, that idea of an all-star after 30 games is, I'm sure, somewhat offensive. The problem is, this is the sport's leading promotional vehicle. It is an entertainment thing. We're at a time of the year where there's not competition from other sports leagues. You need to make this must-see TV. That kid is must-see TV. Every day it's something else. He's breaking stat cast. He's stealing second, third, and home. He is, right now, the it guy in Major League Baseball, outside of Otani and Acuna. So, yes, for all those reasons, that's why I think you don't worry about, oh, my gosh, he's only been here 30 games. He doesn't have the experience. I can name probably 10 All-Stars right now that you could argue are not necessarily deserving. We've got guys who are injury replacements, guys elected by fans, all kinds of things that happen with regard to an All-Star game in any given year. So, in my opinion, if you're trying to present the best entertainment product, and I know I'm an employee of Fox and we're very interested in this, obviously, but it's an absolute no-brainer to me. And I wasn't the only one who wrote this today. Uh, Joel Sherman wrote this of the New York Post, and I believe others will write it too.